What's going on YouTube? So today we're going to talk about a special one because we're going to talk about my worst blind buys ever when it comes to fragrances. These are ones that I regret buying, not because they stink, but because they have other things to them. They don't last long, or they're very plain, and they're not unique. And in this channel, we bring you unique. We bring you exotic. And I don't want you guys to blind buy and spend your hard-earned money for fragrances that are not going to get you the type of feedback, the compliments, bring you to the place that you want to be in life. All right, guys, stay tuned. This is James from the channel, Terribly Tough. I was born to be free. Just like the title says, guys, these are my personal blind buys that I regret buying. My worst blind buys when it came to fragrances. Before we get onto that list, guys, I would love for you guys to like, share, subscribe, so we can smell, look, and feel good all the time, 24 hours. All right, guys, let's get onto the list. Now, Kenzo EDP is explained and described, even marketed, as an aquatic, clean, marine scent. Do I get that out of this one? Definitely not, still put my nose onto it i've had it for several weeks now this one does not smell marine like let me give you an example aqua digio profumo all right that's clean that's aquatic that's marine scent aqua digio profumo this one is too dark it's very overpowering and potent and it's so dark that you can't really tell the different type of notes inside because it gives you that early 1990s department store macy's type of cologne vibe especially with women you're not going to get anywhere with women with this one i don't want to smell older than i already am i want to smell youthful energetic i don't feel any type of energy i don't feel any type of vibes with this one it just smells like one of those fragrances that you put too much on and now you're bothering everybody else around you that's number five all right let's go on to the next one on the list the next one is a replica of a Oud Ispahan by christian dior the private collection and this is by frank olivier oud Vigny. now oud Vigny smells fantastic in the bottle i spray in the air it smells awesome the thing with me is it has a funky vibe to it. I thought it was going to be a yummy fragrance. So highly recommended. I was like, you know what? It has to be a blind buy worthy, sexy fragrance. I didn't get that at all. Because when I apply it onto my skin, it has that dark dosage of the rose and the incense, which basically brings it. I don't know if it's the raspberry, if it's the incense. It's that type of fragrance where it's in the middle of it smells pleasant to it stinks. Right in the middle where you get that funky vibe. And that, I think, will bring a lot of people that insecurity, which I don't want because in the back of my mind no matter what no one tells me you already know when you put a cologne on you already know the vibe you're going to give off and that you feel i feel that every time i will put this on someone's going to say someone's going to pick up on that what is that funk what is that? It, it doesn't, it smells pleasant, but there's a little kick to it. And I don't want to have to go through that. Definitely have to have somebody that you know that has it or get a sample before blind buying this because that funk would be very off-putting for a lot of you guys. All right, next one on the list. This is the perfect example of fragrances that you do not blind buy because it checks off every single note that you like on your list. This is Halloween Man X. It's a very basic synthetic scent it's not going to get you anywhere with the ladies okay it smells so synthetic that you really can't even make out that those notes are in the fragrance for example let me show you guys this fragrance says it has cinnamon no this spicy extreme bomb by victor and rolf is spicy cinnamon you get the cinnamon it's unique it's captivating do you get cinnamon out of this no i do not smell it at all it says it has cognac no this is cognac Straight to Heaven by Killian. This is a cognac boozy gourmand fragrance. You don't get that out of Halloween Man X. Now what else they say? Oh, cardamom, right? I love cardamom, okay? This is cardamom, most wanted by Azaro. That pumpkin spice hazelnut coffee in a bottle, you get that out of this one. This doesn't get the cardamom. I don't smell that. So where's the cinnamon, the cognac, the cardamom because i don't smell that it smells too cheap too synthetic and i don't recommend that you guys spend your hard-earned money to put all your money into this when there's better fragrances in the market let's go on to the next one this is by valentino born in roma this is a mediocre safe scent let me explain the difference mediocre safe scent this is a safe scent also missoni wave but what's the difference between the two? Now, it's a safe scent, meaning it's safe. Everyone's going to say, hey, okay, you got cologne on. But that's all they're going to say, you have cologne on. But this one, they're going to say, what type of cologne? What's the name brand? They need to write it down on a piece of paper with pen because this one stops them in their tracks. You don't get that out of this one. It's not long lasting at all. I go home, I put it on, I go back in the street and walk around. I don't smell it 
for more than two hours, it dies out. You don't even get that foodiness to it. The heaviest and darkest one on the list that is my biggest regret, my biggest worst blind buy in my collection. Ombre Noir Lalique. Real quick, keep it 100 with you, straight to the point. It smells like church incense. So if you like that type of fragrance, that's cool. Not for me. I like smooth, suave, boozy, yummy type of fragrances. Very, very mature. 50 plus. And there's nothing wrong with that if you like that type of fragrance. I'm just saying that when I bring you something sexy, it's because it's sexy. No matter what age, it's ageless. That's the difference, guys. So that's my review, guys, on my top worst blind buys that I've ever bought when it came to fragrances. I would love to know, what are your worst blind buys and tell me why? What was it about that fragrance that was off-putting to you guys? Appreciate you guys for following me. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for watching. Like always, I will see you in the next one. This is James from the channel, Terribly Tough.